guys, so the time has finally came. Ghostbusters Afterlife has finally came out in theaters after being postponed since last year, uh, 2020. Uh, we finally get it and everything. Um, so I'm going to keep the, this review very quick and very short. Um, also, it will be spoiler free for a little bit, and then I'll get into the spoilers. So the, the story involves uh, Egon's grand, his daughter and her, her, his grandkids moving into a house that he uh, eventually died in. Um, he died at the beginning of the movie. Um, I hate to spoil that right away, but uh, they move into this house, and then, of course, you know, they start uncovering, basically, their grandfather's uh, Ghostbuster um, legacy and everything, and then find out that there's something else going on in this town. Um, so, to be honest with you, um, we'll go ahead and get into spoilers. Uh, the whole, I love the whole homage to uh harold ramus and egon in this movie uh the fact that they you know they show him at the beginning how he died um and then just goes into i mean the whole movie is nostalgia i love this movie this movie was a fantastic movie uh one of my favorite definitely probably right now my favorite of the year it was one of my most anticipated of 2020 and 2021 um so therefore you know very, I was very eager to see it. I was never a big a Ghostbusters fan growing up, um, but I did, get, you know, like the movies later on. Uh, the kids did a great job, especially the girl who plays Phoebe, who, which is his granddaughter. She was very, uh, very good. This movie had a lot of, a lot of heart. Um, it did play a lot of, you know, it took it more serious than what the Ghostbusters 2016 version did, uh, when they tried to reboot it that way. But this is basically, you, you watch Ghostbusters 1 and you go right into this one. I mean, you don't even have to know Ghostbusters 2 at all. Uh, they got the new, uh, Ghost, uh, Muncher, who replaces basically Slimer, uh, to kind of get more updated on that. I love the Stay Puffs. I love the fact that they brought back, um... Gozer and Zool and all of them, um, and they, you know, very paid, I guess, you know, like I said, homage to the original first movie, um, and then, you know, the, of course, you know, the original cast comes back at the end, this movie had me teared up at the end, uh, with the whole Harold, uh, with the whole Egon, uh, as a ghost thing, and it was just a fantastic movie. I definitely recommend watching it. I will definitely re-watch this over and over again. It was that good. Um, let me know what you guys think of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Leave it in the comment box below. If you're not subscribed, by all means, subscribe to the channel, guys. Till next time.